What's up, everybody? Thanks for clicking on this video. It's Tom. Uh, we are coming up on the trade deadline. We're coming up on the trade deadline. Let's talk about it. I've got an idea regarding Sonny Gray. Just to throw out, tell me, I'm, I'm just curious what you think about this because um, this has been a, a topic of discussion of late. I actually brought him up on my recent trade deadline discussion, um, kind of mentioning that I wouldn't be completely shocked if the Twins traded Sonny Gray. I don't expect it to happen. I would bet against it. But I do see some pathways um, that this could work. Um, given the the state of baseball right now, there are, there are more teams that want to buy, I think, than there are true sellers. And I think that puts uh, you in an interesting a situation when you have a guy on your team who is a, a pending free agent, um, you may find another team that sort of has uh, the opposite needs as you, and you may line up well for a trade. So I didn't have a name at the time of that video, and I went out and tried to find some. Um, but basically the idea here for me on a Sunny Gray trade, I understand some people think the Twins should shop him as a complete sell uh, to get... Uh, a prospect, maybe, maybe a high-level prospect, somebody who may co uh, contribute to the Major League team next season. Um, I still don't think I'm, I can get on board with that. But if we could do kind of a blend, that's how I could see this going down, is if the Twins could trade Sonny Gray, and I think I called it uh, acquire basically the Sonny Gray of bats. <laughs> so another veteran guy uh, who is about to become a free agent, um, who can help balance this team out. It's weird to say, but the Twins have enough pitching and not enough offense. Um, so would I be willing to potentially trade a pitcher for, uh, especially someone who's about to become a free agent for some lineup help? Maybe. Uh, but I think you could also potentially sprinkle in uh, sort of a, a, a next year buy as well. So I went out trying to find a fit, and a, not only a fit for the player, but also the team, because we also have to find a team that would be interested in acquiring Sonny Gray. So it's got to be both. It has to be a player match and a team match. So that it really cuts things down. And the team that I came upon was the Arizona Diamondbacks, team trying to compete out west. Um, they have some great young talent. They have, um, you know, a, a great number one in Zach Gallen, uh, a legit number one playoff ace type guy. Um, a, lot, a lot of good things going on for them, but they, they could definitely use a starting pitching upgrade. Um, and maybe they're, they wouldn't want to you know completely go all in and trade one of their big prospects or one of their young players um, who they have long term. They have plenty of excess in terms of position player depth. Um, they have a lot of good guys in AAA in the major leagues kind of looking for opportunities right now. Um, they could lose an outfielder. And and probably not really skip a beat, especially if it meant getting a starting pitching upgrade. Um, and they also have a, a system that I like. There, there's quite a few guys in double A or higher that I find intriguing in that system. Um, so the prospect is a big part of this piece. Major leaguer for major leaguer, you might be a little bit underwhelmed. Uh, but this was the best that I could kind of do in this one. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. was an all-star. So it's like, uh, let's not throw shade at this guy. But I think if you're kind of th dreaming big here, I might be squashing your dreams some. Uh, but a 29-year-old right-handed hitting left fielder. Um, again, an all-star. He's hitting 270 with a 323 on base percentage and a 492 slugging. That's an 815 OPS, a 121 OPS+. plus. Um, he is a career 821 OPS versus left-handed pitching. So this is a guy that can really help the Twins' needs there. And he only has a 17% strikeout rate this season. That would be the lowest on the Twins, I think, by a pretty good margin. Uh, league average is 22.7. So he's comfortably below league average in his strikeout percentage. Doesn't walk that much. So that's kind of a bummer. Uh, but Loris Gurriel Jr., again, an all-star, would be the main piece coming back to the Twins to help the club this year. So we're getting a piece to help hopefully address these issues. Losing Sonny Gray obviously would be pretty crushing, but you do have Louis Varlin to step in uh, to the rotation. You know, there's really no use in waiting around for him anymore. Um, is he ready? We kind of saw... Uh, both. We, we saw both from him this year. If some At some points it looked like, yeah, this guy can be a rotation piece. And then at other points it looked like he didn't. I think he's got some ups and downs to go through. But, you know, there's only the best way to do that is 
to get get in the major league rotation and uh, start start working through those. Yes, they do have Dallas Keuchel factors in there somewhere as well, and some of these other uh, veteran guys that they have in AAA. But it's not like I'm trying to say the Twins can just get rid of Sonny Gray and not skip a beat in the rotation. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt for sure. Uh, but again, he's going to be a pending free agent. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. is also going to be a pending free agent, which which is why I think Arizona would be uh, willing to let him go as well in this kind of a deal. Um, and again, they have some replacements in the outfield uh, that they can they can fill in. Uh, Gurriel's already been DHing a decent amount to to kind of get those guys out there in the outfield as it is. Uh, the prospect, and you you could you could find someone else um, in this system, but the guy that stood out to me, who I find intriguing, is AJ Vukovic, um, who is pretty polarizing. Some publications and scouting sources really love this guy. Some of them really don't believe in him. So it's a high risk player, 21 years old, drafted in 2020. So that class was kind of impacted. You could see them moving along slowly. Uh, Wisconsin guy. So a a cold weather guy. You could see him moving along slowly. Um, And also a big time basketball player in high school, which, you know, that may have slowed some of his baseball skills down as well. Um, But a tremendous athlete with great power i just think there's a really good chance that this guy um, catches up he's 21 years old and in double a right now and more than holding his own uh, but he's he's a little rough around the edges i guess he's mostly played third base coming into this year but now he's playing all three outfield positions including a pretty good amount of center field so yeah he is a, a primo athlete with some great power i think he would be a top 10 a twins prospect He's also not on the 40-man roster right now, which is kind of a bonus. You wouldn't have to bump somebody off of the Twins' current 40-man roster. Again, he's in double-A. Uh, you would figure he's going to have to be added to the 40-man roster this offseason. So you would figure this is a guy who factors into that, um, someone who realistically could be contributing to the Twins next season. So you're getting a guy for this year and a guy potentially as soon as next year. High risk. I think uh, you you may go to a different player in this system um, who is a little bit lower risk, but I think the Twins could acquire um, a top 10 type prospect uh, in, in this deal. Um, if you're, you're trading Sonny Gray to Lourdes, Lourdes Gurriel Jr., excuse me, because starting pitching is at a premium. Starting pitching is at a premium, especially this time of year. I'll show you what MLB or baseball trade values, excuse me, uh, says about this deal. Um, Again, it's the. I'll say what I always say about that place. It's the best source that we have. That doesn't mean it's a very good source, to be honest. I think they do a great job with major leaguers in particular. Uh, I think their model's really good with major leaguers. I think it's pretty poor with minor leaguers. Um, so you really you have to be honest with yourself when you're putting these together. Um, and I think I to me this one made sense logically, and um, it, it made sense in their model. Their model says this is a little bit heavy on the Diamondback side, but again, I think with the uh, premium for starting pitching, um, I think I think that will give Sonny that boost. This was accepted by their model, but we'll we'll kind of assume that Sonny's a little bit more valuable than they're they're plugging him in as. And you know, listen, does Loris Gurriel Jr. fix the lineup? Um, you know, it would be very um, fair to point out that in terms of weighted runs created plus, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. and Joey Gallo are very similar. And uh, doing this trade would mean you're going to have to figure out something to do with Joey Gallo and or Max Kepler. Um, but again, I just think the fit is so much better. This is a right-handed hitter, which I think the Twins need, who crushes lefties which i think the twins need and who does not he does he would have the lowest strikeout rate on the team which i think the twins need um joey gallo is the opposite of all of he's just like the worst fit <laughs> and maybe he would stay still and kepler goes um one one or the other would probably would have to go for this to work you'd have to do another trade um but i do think you know grail jr is a good fit for this lineup um and would help solve some of these problems that the Twins have with their lineup and maybe be a spark plug. Him going from Toronto, being a, a career-long Blue Jay and then transitioning to the Diamondbacks this year and playing so being becoming a first-time All-Star uh, gives me some confidence that this is a guy who is not going to be too disrupted by a, a mid-season trade as well. So I think that's a little encouraging. Um, yeah, and, and you know, if, you, if Vukovic isn't your guy and somebody else is, again, I think you can just sort of pencil in a back end of the top 10 type prospect uh, if you have another name you like with Arizona he was just the guy that stuck out for me so 
Um, I want to I want to hear your thoughts on this. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Would you do it? Would you entertain it? I think my main point is here, there is a pathway that I think the Twins would entertain a Sunny Gray trade that doesn't mean they're completely throwing in the towel, basically, that they're um, that they're kind of pushing things towards next year. Um, but I'm, I'm going to have some more trade ideas later today. Members, I'm not, I'm not leaving you hanging. There will be a members, uh, member Monday video. Um, I have two more specific trade, uh, ideas to throw out there. Um, I believe they involve Max Kepler and Joey Gallo. So if you're wondering where I'm going next after that, uh, check that out. I'm also throwing out some of the the sort of buy low targets I really like. The guys who have negative trade value on on that baseball trade value site um, who should just be very easy to get um, that I think the Twins should be asking about. So check that out, uh, members. If you're not a member, uh, consider joining. You can join. It starts at $1.99 a month, and you get an extra video from me every week. So check that out. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, regardless, again, thanks to all the channel members for supporting the channel, basically sponsoring each one of these videos. I uh, really appreciate it. Here are the premium members, and we'll talk again soon.